Mark. My name is Sandy Hickman, City Council. I'm delighted to be here with you. We have another great show for you as we will continue throughout the summer, right through September on Fridays. Was that a great regatta day yesterday? <laughs> Loved it. What a time. Uh, and, of course, with the women's long course, that was the first ever. That was a real uh, historic moment for regatta. It was amazing. Well, I have the great pleasure of introducing our act today. And our opening act today is our youth performer, Alison Walsh. She's a 13-year-old songwriter, chorister, and actress, and plays piano and guitar. She has her guitar, I see. Been performing for both live and virtual audiences since the age of three. Amazing. She has appeared as, as a guest singer in a variety of multicultural folk and Christmas events and has participated in several locally produced music videos. And we've had her performing down the street at the Pedestrian Mall this summer and at numerous establishments, establishments that promote youth musicians. This summer, Allison looks forward to more opportunities to showcase her talents to receptive audiences, and this is one of them. So please, welcome Allison Walsh. Come on down with it. Hi everyone, my name is Allison Walsh, and before I begin my set for today, I'd just like to thank the Newfoundland Folk Art Society for giving me the opportunity to perform today. It's a very big honor to be opening for Jim Payne and Fergus O'Burn. <laughs> My first song today is out from St. Leonard's by the Irish Descendants.
Thank you. My next song for today is Fiddler's Green by the Tragically Hip. Staff sings a sorrowful refrain for a boy on Fiddler's Green. Thank you. Now I know it's far from winter with how hot it is today, but my next song is Song for a Winter's Night by Gordon Lightfoot. The lamp is burning low upon my tabletop. Snow is softly falling.
winter's night with you and to be once again with you thank you my last song for today is st john's waltz by ron hines Alice Walsh, everyone. Fantastic. Well, that was wonderful, and we have another wonderful act. Well done, Allison. Yeah. 
And we have two Newfoundland treasurers coming up now. <laughs> Jim Payne and Fergus O'Byrne. And I'm using Fergus's microphone, as you can tell. Uh, they gave us a biography, and I've introduced these fellows before, and the biography was a couple of pages long. The, so this time they just said, well, look, two of Newfoundland's most respected performers combine instrumental prowess and humorous repartee to cover a broad spectrum of Newfoundland folk culture, including songs, stories, and dance tunes. The repertoire includes rousing sea shanties and work songs, poignant ballads, comic ditties, comic ditties should be good, folk tales and recitations, and toe-tabbing jigs, reels, and polkas on a variety of instruments. So that's exactly what you're getting, folks, and it's going to be great. So Ferguson Jim. Thank you very much, Councillor Hickman. But we're not going to do any of that this afternoon. Too hot. No dance tunes today. Uh, Fergus, the microphone's over here. Look. <laughs> Councillor Hickman must think he's the jolly green giant there, having to lean over to. For Fergus, the microphone. Uh, let's have another uh, another round for Alison Walsh because she's great. And uh, it's funny, we actually uh, Fergus and I were in her school there. You know, I guess a few years ago now. But she really had the right idea with the, the last couple of songs there, songs about the harbor and song for a winter's night, because the first time we're saying, well, this is an easy set list for us. We always try to put together songs that we have about the harbor, take place down here on the waterfront or the ocean environment. And today, especially, we were looking for songs that had uh, the mention of ice and snow, just to give you a chance to perhaps cool off with them and stuff. So we're going to start off with a song, actually. Uh, this song goes back to uh, goes back to the early part of the 20th century when somebody took a walk one morning uh, from the east side of the here on the east side of the harbor front down to the west side, and they made this song out of a, a list of all the ships were in the harbor that day, and they were getting ready to go off to the seal hunt. So they were you know they would have been in uh, probably sometime early March, so it was nice and cold and lots of snow and ice around then. Um, but they, they made a list that uh, listed off all the ships owned by some of the, some of the merchants along the St. John's waterfront and, uh, and the list of all the sea captains and some quite well-known historical figures in, uh, in Newfoundland seafaring history. Like we always say, they're world famous in Newfoundland. Um, we know the song was composed somewhere between uh, the spring of 1912 and, uh, or the spring of 1909 and the summer of 1912 because there's a ship mentioned in this called the Iceland, which was commissioned to be built in uh, the spring of 1909 by Bain Johnson and Company. And uh, on the other side of it, the Algerine is mentioned, and the Algerine was the ship that took the last survivor out of the water after the sinking of the Titanic. And the Algerine was lost itself at sea that uh, late, uh, later on that same summer. So that's how we've sort of narrowed it down. We'll try to get right down to the day. Now, next time we come back, we come back next summer. Fergus, you going to lead it off? Carry on. From Harvey's I'll start and to Bowering's I'll go. I'll name all the ships and the captains also. Where the North King is raging and strong blows the gale. In search of the white coats a day they will sail. Where the North King is raging and strong blows the gale. In search of the white coats a day they will sail. In the Ad Captain Doyle, in the Bell Joe Beanie, in the Bond Captain Parsons, a stout man is he, and jolly gay keen in the spring will command Harvey's port steamer, the old Newfoundland, where the North King is raging and strong blows the gale, in search of the white coats a day they will sail. I'll name all the ships of Joe Brothers and Co., the first and the next one I'll I'll let you all know of the good ship Diana Joe Blanford has charge. I hope he'll come back before long with the surge. Where the North King is raging and strong blows the gale. In search of the white coats a day they will sail. In comes the be so swift and so sure. I hope that George Barber is 
with her once more and then there's the neptune i see it so plain and likewise the eric with pleasant job cane where the north king is a raging and strong blows the gale in search of the white coats a day they will sail i wish them good luck and from job's take my leave i'll name all the ships owned by walter bain grieve there's a bloodhound gate windsor he'll yet make his mark and cane in the ice land across captain clark where the north king is a raging and strong blows the gale in search of the white coats a day they will sail the brothers also got a fine man for sure baxter barber who sailed on the ship labrador he'll fill her and bring her safe over the seas as he did when he sailed with the crosby's louise where the north king is a raging and strong blows the gale in search of the white coats a day they will sail and then it's the bowerings the firm that's well known for the pluck push and enterprise all they have shown for building that steamer you all know her well Abel Kane, her commander, the new Florizel. Where the North King is a raging and strong blows the gale. In search of the white coats, a day they will sail. The kite captain Carroll, we wish him good luck. Once more in the eagle, Job Kane showed his pluck. And Bartlett the Viking, I pray you will fill. And dear old Dan Green, may he make his big bill. Where the North King is a raging and strong blows the gale in search of the white coats a day they will sail the ranger sam windsor be fleetingly seen likewise no a bishop in the algerine my song is concluded about captains and ships may they all come in with big beards on their lips where the north king is a raging and strong blows the gale in search of the white coast a day they will sail thank you very much are you cooled off yet or what See this, Alps. We're gonna do this. is a song about a trip to Greenland, and uh, and Greenland always gets a really bad rap in all the folk songs for how cold and miserable and covered with ice and snow. But uh, I'm here to tell you that it's a stunningly beautiful place. So if you ever get a chance to go there, it's worth the visit. But I went out to St. John's Harbor one day in September there the other year, and uh, just after supper, really kind of a mazie, just to get a bit duckish, really and watching the light fade away at Cape Spear, and I was on the way to Greenland, and about two weeks later, I was stuck in ice out in Baffin Bay. And uh, I wouldn't mind being stuck in ice today, but you know, when you're at sea, it's not that much fun, because you can't work, you're not moving, and you're kind of hoping that the wind might change and a lead will open up, or the Coast Guard might come and cut you out of it. But I was sitting in the crew room with a couple of instruments, just uh, killing time, really, and I got to thinking that there's probably not enough songs in the world about sailors at sea wondering what's going, back on, going on back on shore or wishing they were back home or that sort of stuff because there's probably only 200, two or 300,000 songs like that all together. Uh, but somehow that day none of them said what I wanted to say, so I wrote this song called Waltz Around the Cape that goes like this. I want to... The light on the cape is fading fast. Last glimpse of shoreline rushes past. I watch till it fades out of sight. Day becomes night. I'm farther than ever from you. I dream we were waltzing round the cape. I held you gently in my arms. Dream we were dancing lightly over the waves. I'm lost in your love and charms. I get up before anyone else just to get moments to myself. I lean on the rail in fair wind or gale and whisper good morning to you. I dream we were waltzing round the cave.
I've traveled oceans all over the globe. I've covered a million miles by road. The light in your eye, the stars in the sky are guiding me home to you. Southern cross at night, your voice on the breeze brings me to my knees, and I'm coming home to you. I dreamed we were waltzing around the cape. I held you gently in my arms. Dreamed we were dancing lightly over the waves. I'm lost in your love and charm. Falls on the Cape, thank you very much. Banjos don't like the heat. <laughs> Somebody told me that tuning a banjo is an oxymoron, but uh, I still like to have it in tune if I could. Uh, we're going to sing a song uh, about being on the water again, actually sailors. Sailors, when they went away to sea, of course, in the old days, they could be gone for months or maybe even years. So when they would come back, they'd have a, a few dollars in their pocket to spend, and they'd come into places like St. John's and be wandering up and down the waterfront looking for adventure. And, of course, landlords and landladies would be there, and they'd be saying, Come in, John. Spend your money, John. Have a good time, John. Eat up, John. Drink up, John. But then as soon as John's money was all gone, they'd be saying, Get up, Jack and let another John sit down. Because you see, in those days, a sailor with money was a John, and a sailor without any money was known as a Jack. So the expression in the song goes, get up, Jack, John, sit down. Uh, so these days, a musician with money is known as a Ferguson, and a musician with no money is known as a Jim. Yeah, see, I can afford long pants and a shirt. He can afford clothes, yeah. <laughs> More money in the banjo than there is in the cordine, I'll tell you that. Anyway, the song is called The Jolly Roving Tar. Ships may come and ships may go as long as the sea does roll. Each sailor lad, just like his dad, he loves the flowing bowl. A trip be sure he does the door with the girl to plump and round. When your money's gone, the same old song, get up, Jack John, sit down. Come, come along, come, come along, you jolly brave boys, lots of grog in the jar. We'll bow the briny ocean with the jolly roving tar. When Jack gets in, it's then he'll steer to some old boarding house. They'll welcome him with rum and gin, feed him on pork scouts. He'll then spend in an offend until he lies drunk on the ground. Your money's gone, the same old song. Get up, Jack Chung, sit down. Come along, come along. Lots of grog in the jar We'll bow the briny ocean With the jolly roving tar He'll then steer aboard some ship Bound down for Newfoundland All the ladies fair in Placentia there The grog in the jar. We bow the briny ocean with the jolly roving car. 
When Jack is old and weather beat, too old to roam about. They let him stop in some rum shop till eight bells calls him out. He raises his eyes up to the sky, saying, boys, we're homeward bound. But when your money's gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack John, sit down. Come along, come along. You jolly brave boys and lots of grog in the jar. We plow the briny ocean with the jolly roving car. So come along, come along, you jolly brave boys and lots of grog in the jar. We plow the briny ocean with the jolly roving car. Thank you very much. What would you like to say? No, but please. Okay, we'll go back to the ice now for this one. And uh, this is another song from uh, the early part of the 20th century when the boats were getting ready to go to sea for the, to the, to the, to the front there. A tune called The Noble Fleet of Sealers. And uh, it just, again, it describes some of the ships that were here on the harbor front getting ready to go off to the ice. Think ice. Think ice. Uh, you might recognize the melody to this, actually. It's used for another pretty well-known song here in Newfoundland. It's a tune called The Old Polina. Uh, but I think this one uh, predates The Old Polina, at least our version of it, because The Old Polina is originally an old Scottish song called The Old Polina. Uh, Fergus plays the little, the baby accordion on this one. I, I can't leave my accordions out in the heat, really, because they'll melt. They're like the, you know, the Wicked Witch of the West or something in The Wizard of Oz. But... Uh, you know, you'll see a couple of my four stops there, and they came back to us one time after Air Canada lost our instruments. When I opened up the box, the two four stops were there, and that was in the box along with them. So I got two accordions here, the proud parents of this little baby accordion that Fergus got in his hand. <laughs> one time they used to call the, the accordion the carbon air computer, and Fergus got a laptop. Well, actually, uh, this, is a, this is a tablet. Oh, it's no. a tablet, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. All right, here we go. There's a noble fleet of sealers being fitted for the ice. They'll take a chance again this year, though fat's gone down in price. The owners will supply them, as in the days of old. For in Newfoundland, a sealing voyage is something more than gold. For the ice is drifting southern, it's getting near the funks. And men will leave their feather beds to sleep in wooden bunks. Though times are getting hard again, our men have not gone soft. They'll haul their toes, our icy flows, and briskly go along. The Algerine is first to sail, she's steaming out the harbor. With eager sealers on their deck and on the bridge will barber. The Viking blood runs through his veins as in the days of yore, when the barbers fought the seal and whale and fished the Labrador. The Terra Nova's next to sail in charge of Charlie Kane. In the history of our fisheries, it's a grand and worthy name. His crew of bully northern men can handle gaffer gun. To get their share, they'll risk and dare and think it all great fun. For the ice is drifting southern, it's getting near the funks. And men will leave their feather beds to sleep in wooden bunks. Though times are getting hard again, our men have not gone soft. They'll haul their toes, our icy flows, and briskly go along. The Arctic sealers last to sail, her crew worked with a will. Helped by that modern jowler, the sealer's friend, Sid Hill. Though the last to leave the harbor, she's the first to strike the patches. And on March the 29th, four up log loaded to the hatches. There's one sail from Catalina, her owner is commander. The staunch and sturdy local built the good ship Newfoundlander. When the white coats fall, he'll risk it all despite hard luck before. For there's near a man in Newfoundland, the likes of John Blackmore. For the ice is drifting southern, it's getting near the fogs. And men will leave their feather beds to sleep in wooden bunks. Though times are getting hard again, our men have not gone soft. They'll haul their toes, the icy flows, the risky go along. In old 
St. John's sharing out our flippers. Let's drink a health to sealers all, likewise our gallant skippers. Though Newfoundland is changing fast, some things we must not lose. May we always have our flipper pie and codfish for our brews. For the ice is drifting, drifting southern, it's getting near the bumps. And men will leave their feather beds to sleep in wooden bunks. Though times are getting hard again, our men have not gone soft. They'll haul their toes, their icy flows, and briskly go a lot. Yes, they'll haul their toes, or icy flows, and briskly go a lot. A noble fleet of sealers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, both myself and Jim have, uh, between the two of us tra traveling together and traveling separately over the years, have, have been in every nook and cranny, I'd say, in Newfoundland and Labrador and beyond. But uh, especially in Newfoundland and Labrador, we've met some great, great people along the way. And back in the, back in the uh, 1970s, when I was working with Ryan's Fancy and we were doing the, the television, the CBC series, we, we went to all over the island meeting uh, some of the great singers and players. And one such fellow we met was a man from Plasentia. Anybody here from Plasentia Bay? Well, this, <laughs> this man was from, well, he was originally from Clatis Harbour, and then he moved to South East Bight, and that's where he lived out his days. But he was a fisherman, great fisherman, of course, uh, but he was also a wonderful singer and storyteller and loved nothing better than to have a crowd of people around him so he could share the songs, and we were delighted to share our, his songs and our songs with him. But he, one of his favorite pieces, we used to say, always sing this, was called The Liverpool Pilot. Oh, Liverpool, England is a place I love dear Where I spent all my money on whiskey and beer I spent all my money, what could I do more? I was forced to take ship, go sail from the shore And it's wrong She have us in tow. When early next morning we were out for a start, I packed all me duds in the old baggage cart. Then off to the landlord to get a last glass. On board of a ship, us for sailors was cast. It's row, row, her openings row. For the Liverpool pilot, she have us in tow. One day when our ship Our mate and our boatswain all day going through, looking for work for us sailors to do. On reef your jib halyard, the loud leaded roar. Go aloft, sailor, and we put you ashore, and it's wrong. She have us in tow, and it's row, row, her openings row, for the Liverpool pilot, she have us in
Thank you very much. Well, I thought I'd uh, just uh, bring up a subject here that might help you cool down a little bit. I suppose you all remember Snowmageddon, do you? You know, we've been so wrapped up with COVID this past two or three years that we never, you know, and it came right on the heels of Snowmageddon. And, and back when Snowmageddon was on the go, uh, I remember uh, writing a few verses about it. I wrote a little sort of a ditty, a kind of a recitation, really. But I never really had a chance to do it at all because by the time I finished shoveling out, it was, was probably about a month after the snowstorm, uh, COVID was up on us and took over everything. So uh, I thought I'd uh, last a week or so, really, with all the heat, it kind of came to mind. And I figured I'd do it for you this afternoon because if it does take you back, it'll bound to cool you off because with any luck at all, we'll get another one now in a couple of days. Uh, it's called a weary shoveler, and it goes like this. I am a weary shoveler, just lately come from town, where you might have heard they had a bit of snow up on the ground. Says I, now that's the place to go to find a job of work. So I polished up me shovel and put on an extra shirt. I started out to Costco, then I shoveled out the mall. Entrance, exits, loading bays, the parking lots and all. I cleared the trade school quickly, the Marine Institute and Mon and all the other schools in town when all of that was done. I cleared off all the sidewalks, then I done all the streets. I dug out all the restaurants to get a bite to eat. I dug out all the fire hydrants, then I stopped and had a smoke and started on the hospitals in case I mind a croak. There were some barred in their basements, more stuck in their sheds. Some were running out of grubs, some more run out of meds. An avalanche in the battery caused many a soul to cower, but it was only me on Signal Hill to digging out Cabot Tower. I dug out all the churches so they could ring their bells, dug out the supermarkets, then in all the big hotels. And just as I was finished that, there came for me a call. It was the mayor wondering if I'd come and dig out City Hall. <laughs> Not much chance of that, sir. And I don't want to be mean, because I always shovel me driveway, and I keep it nice and clean. But every time I shovel out, if I wait five or ten, sure the council sends the plow back up to block me in again. Yes, we often make fun of other people when we're, they're flummoxed by the snow, and think that we know all the, have all the answers when stormy blizzards blow. But I never thought I'd see today, as long as I do stand, when the army'd have to be called in to dig out Newfoundland. Yes, well, we got through Snowmageddon. We knew it couldn't last. And if that's the worst of 2020, at least is in the past. But keep your shovels handy. It's still early in the year. And be sure to make... What's, what's that? A coronavirus scare? I'll take the snow. Oh, by the way, just to let you know, overnight tonight, by the way, on Water Street and Duckworth Street, they will be doing some snow clearing. So don't park your car there, please. Don't go building your deck on the sidewalk, either. <laughs> Another one of my own songs here now. And uh, we had to sing this one today with the, the clipper on one side of us, the kestrel on the other. As uh, first, I've uh, spent a number of years going offshore at Christmas time uh, to do uh, concerts out on the rigs and some of the supply boats and so on. But uh, the first time I went offshore was really early in the, the history of uh, uh, an offshore oil industry here. And uh, I got uh, stormbound for 10 days, but they had to shut everything down. So, you know, it was a, obviously it was a drag for, for them, but uh, it gave me a real good opportunity to sort of check out what, how it all works out there. And the, the people who worked there were really generous with, about showing me around. And one of them asked me if I'd compose a song about what it was like to work on an oil rig, since at that point uh, it was a new industry to the province and there hadn't been very many songs composed about it. And he gave me a little, little glossary of... Uh, of drilling terms and so on, the ABCs of the of the oil industry kind of thing to get me started. So I thought we have so many alphabet songs in the in the in the you know the traditional Newfoundland music repertoire. We have a sailor's alphabet, a fisherman's alphabet, trappers, miners, loggers alphabet. So uh, I thought I'd add a rig worker's alphabet to it, and uh, it goes like this: one, two, three. A for Atlantic, that's salt water well. B for the ballast and the boys in the bell. C for the chopper that brought us out here. And D is the danger that lurks everywhere. So hardy are we who work out on the rig. Where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. Blow high or blow low, the wind it do roar. There's no job on earth like one working offshore. 
E for the engine room, F for the flange, G for the grand banks just off Newfoundland, also for the galley where the grub is so good, and H is for home where we'd stay if we could. So hardy are we who work out on the rig, where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. Icebergs come drifting down through. J is the job that we're out here to do. K for the knowledge that built this darn thing. And L is for lifting what the supply boats bring. So hardy are we who work out on the rig. Where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. Go high or blow low, the wind it do roar. There's no job. Like one working offshore. M for the monkey board, N for the noise. O is for oil under ocean it lies. P for the pontoon that keeps us afloat. And Q is for quickly you stay on your toes. So hardy are we who work out on the rig. Where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. The roughneck who knows all the tricks. S for the Setco, the 706. T the tool pusher, top man on the job. And also for triple 330 foot rods. So hardy are we who work out on the rig. Where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. Like one working offshore. U is for under, we don't want to go. V for the valve that lets all things flow. W for weather and the waves it do bring. And X for excuse me if you think I can't sing. So hardy are we who work out on the rig. Where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. Go high or blow low, the wind it do roar. There's no job on earth like one working offshore. Why for a yell if the man's overboard? A yippee and yahoo when we gets on shore. Said for the zipper to do up your dry suit. You put it on first, boys, then haul on your boots. So hardy are we who work out on the rig. Where the seas they do roll and the waves are so big. Go high or blow low, the wind it do roar. There's no job on earth like one working offshore. Greg works off of it. Thank you very much. Okay, this next song, uh, if you look out in the harbor here, apparently there's an old story, and not only this harbor, but there's an old story. If a skipper sees a mermaid on the way back on the voyage home, that the ship is destined to sink to the bottom of the sea. Now, so if you're going across the harbour tonight, just beware of mermaids because uh, you might not make it across to the other side if you happen to go swimming or anything. Anyway, the song is called The Mermaid. It was Friday morn when we set sail and we were not far from the land When our captain he spied a mermaid so fair with the comb and the glass in her hand And the ocean waves do roll and the stormy winds do blow And we poor sailors are sitting at the top where the land lovers lie down Bottom up. 
Thank you. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more numbers left to do for you here now. So uh, this uh, next song is uh, again one of my own songs, and uh, I wrote this a long time ago. Already, it's made the, been around a lot, been covered by a lot of people since then, translated into other languages and, uh, and everything. A tune called "Wave Over Wave," and uh, totally appropriate for here on the doorstep of the Northwest Atlantic, of course, which is really what it's all about. But really, it's. Uh, it's the story of seafaring peoples everywhere in coastal communities around the world. So, as soon as Fergus gets that little baby accordion back on to go here, what do you have to do? Change a diaper or something? My name's Abel Rogers, a chairman of my. On a three-masted schooner from Twillingate Isle I've been the world over, north, south, east, and west But the middle of nowhere's where I like it best Where it's wave over wave, sea over bow I'm as happy a man as the sea will allow there's no other life for a sailor like me But to sail the salt sea, boys, sail the sea There's no other life but to sail the salt sea The work, it is hard and the hours are long My spirit is willing my back it is strong and when our work's over then whiskey we'll pour we'll dance with the girls up on some foreign shore where it's wave over wave sea over bow i'm as happy a man as the sea will allow there's no other life for a sailor like me but the sailor salt sea boys sail the sea there's no other life but to sail the salt sea I'd leave my wife lonely ten months of the year 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, we've just got one more more song to do before we finish up. But before we do that, we just want to uh, we want to thank people here. We want to thank the city and Taya, of course, and Sandy, and Alison for being here as well to sing a few songs, and also Canadian AV, AV here who who do a great job. We got Tim, Steve, and Gerard down there twisting all the knobs. <laughs> Although they said they can't even touch the metal, it's so hot. So, <laughs> so anyway, but yes, so, uh, and oh, by the way, we do have some CDs here, if anybody's interested in having a look at the work we've done. And most of all, of course, we want to thank you guys for coming out and spending your lunch hour with us, because we were going to be here anyway. And uh, in the heat, I, I tell you, it would have been especially lonesome if you hadn't turned up today. So thank you so much for that. So anyway, this uh, normally during a show, we'd be cajoling people to sing all the way through the show as much as possible. But we're taking pity on it because it's so hot. We're only going to ask you to sing this last song with us, okay? So there's a, this is all about a skipper of a boat who wasn't very well liked by his crew. So somebody wrote a song about him. But there's a great chorus in it that I'm going to teach you the chorus and I want you to repeat back to me and then we get you to sing it. And just repeat after me, please. With the big bow wow. With the big bow wow. you got to have louder than that. I can only hear Jim. With the big bow wow. Tow row row. Fall the roll the ride all day. That's all there's to it now. So I'm going to sing the, we're going to sing the first chorus and get you to sing it back at us. And uh, we want to send this one out to the man on the security gate over here. He's standing there all day leading people in and out. So it's got to be a hard, hot day for him. So this one's for you, man. Oh, with the big bow wow, tow row row, fall the roll the ride all day with the big. Very good. From St. John's Harbor, we set sail. The wind was a blowing the devil of a gale. All our ring tails set, and our baffling is in peak. And our dolphin strikers plowing up the Sing deep. Up. With a big bow wow, tow row row, fall the roll the ride all day. Comes up from down below. He looks aloft and he looks alow. He looks alow and he looks aloft, saying it's coil those ropes, boys, fore and aft. With, With a, a big bow wow, tow row row, fall the roll the ride all day. Then back to his cabin he 
quickly crawls unto the steward he loudly calls go bring me a glass that will make me cough for it's better weather here than it is up there we off go. with, with a, a big bow wow chow row row fall the roll the ride all day it's a wee poor sailor standing on the deck with blasted rain pouring down on our necks not a drop of grog will he to us afford but he damns our eyes with every other word with, with a, a big bow wow tow row row fall the roll the ride all day now there's one thing we sailors crave for him to find a watery grave we'll shove them down in the dark deep hole where the sharks will have his body and the devil take his soul with a big bow wow tow row row fall the roll the ride all day with a big bow wow tow row row Fall the roll the ride all day. Thank you very much. You sung up the breeze. Look, God love you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Well, they didn't disappoint. They certainly are storytellers, this fellow here especially, and beautiful singers. Fergus O'Byrne and Jim Payne, wonderful. I want to thank Alison Walsh, of course. She was fabulous. There she is. She's still here. Well done, Alison. Really loved it. And uh, to thank John Clark of the Newfoundland Labrador Folk Arts Society, who coordinates our youth performers. And, of course, our friends from Canyon AV. They're always here. And we're at the regatta all day yesterday. Um, so thank you all for coming out. And don't forget, next Friday, August 12th, it's Kelly McMichael and uh, Michael Park, the Youth Act. And check the city website for all the other shows we have uh, down in the mall and in some of the parks. But every Friday lunchtime here, right into September. Thanks very much.